the habitat below the apostles is a mix of uh, Douglas fir and mountain mahogany. Mountain mahogany is an amazing shrub. Some of the things I like about the mountain mahogany is it is one of the few trees that actually produces enough calories to sustain big game in the winter. It has really high protein levels. The problem with it is that it's all highlined. Highline means that the animals have eaten all of the branches to as high as they could reach. So while the leaves of the mahogany tree are really great forage, there's very, very few pounds of forage up there available. Usually mahogany is found in rocky outcrops that uh, are just set aside from any fire or any other competition, and uh, they just hang out in those rocky outcrops. Here we have mountain mahogany in a what used to be a mountain shrub community much deeper soils, much more um, productive than most mountain mahogany sites. Since the mountain mahogany is out of its natural area and because nothing's growing underneath them, um, as a wildlife guy, I would love to see some fire go up into this area and make some holes in these mahogany stands, allow the light and the nutrients to get to the ground and allow something that was more historic to um, return to, to this spot. Another advantage to uh, creating some openings in the trees here is this used to be bighorn sheep habitat in the winter. But bighorn sheep are very sensitive to uh, cover. Um, they really like to be able to see predators. That's where they feel the most comfortable. And so currently, the bighorn sheep in the Tetons winter above tree line. But if we could make some openings down here, it would land itself to be more hospitable to the bighorn sheep. And we might get the bighorn sheep to start migrating down in winter.